Alright guys, it is a, just a nasty, ugh, depressing winter day here in the shithole city of Austin, Texas today on this gloomy Friday morning, I think December 14th, 2018, but I am thrilled to announce that the little dog and I are heading to the Optimist Club Christmas tree lot for the last time to sell dead trees to clueless fucking morons in 2018. And with any luck and judgment on my part, this will be the last time I will ever set foot on the Optimist Club dead tree lot or any other Christmas tree lot for the rest of my life. We will see how next year hands out. So, uh, but before I head off for the last time to put on the yellow vest and do what I do every Friday and that's bring you my ecological meltdown roundup rant where I simply open my email box to see how the planet has been heading directly into a brick wall at 67,000 miles an hour and as I do all the Every week, I'm going to start with my favorite environmental news story roundup from mongabay.com. Mongabay.com. In part one of this rant, then we'll come back and look at some more roundups in part two. I'm going to put the little dog down and uh, we're going to start. Well, Manga Bay's going to start, I guess. Uh, our romp around a collapsing planet in the one of the poster children of the collapse of a planet, certainly in the uh, Western Hemisphere. And that would be the shithole country of Honduras, where we see <coughs> there are no laws, cattle, drugs, and corruption are destroying Honduran UNESCO site. No shit, Sherlock. Poverty and political violence, not to mention overpopulation, which is, of course, no, that word never mentioned anywhere in this story. Poverty and political violence fueled by overpopulation are driving Hondurans into Rio Platano Biosphere Reserve, a UNESCO World Cultural and Natural Heritage Site, holding some of the region's largest tracts of old growth rainforest left on the planet. Hmm. Would you believe that they are contributing to deforestation in the reserve? And that ranching is the single biggest deforestation driver in the area. And many illegal cattle ranchers in turn maintain ties to the drug business. And we have government corruption and apathy, you know, both being funded by the drug business with the Italy, I think we get it. <clears throat> yes. An investigation found criminal groups are able to operate with impunity in Honduras because of an ineffective justice system and corrupt security forces. No shit, Sherlock. Now, of course, guys, you could, uh, take that story in Honduras and pretty much go all over the planet for examples of this exact same story. In fact, we have one coming from the state of Utah, but I think that might be in part two. Anyone who thinks that stories like this are only now relevant to, to shitholes like Honduras 
need to look at our own country, uh, this entire planet is being run by what was the term uh, an ineffective justice system and corrupt security forces. Okay, let's go over to Pol the shit all country of Poland for Manga Bay's uh, coverage of COP24. Manga Bay looking at tropical deforestation risks undermining one and a half degree warming limit. No shit, Sherlock. Hmm. Maintaining forest is a key tactic in the fight against catastrophic climate change, one that could help significantly reduce global carbon dioxide emissions. But of the six countries that account for the greatest expanse of tropical rainforest, only Indonesia is on track to reduce its current rate of deforestation by 2030. Well, I guess to the degree that Indonesia has already cut down every tree in Indonesia. A a anyway, uh, the five others, Brazil, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Colombia, Peru, and Myanmar <coughs> look set to even increase their deforestation rates. No shit, Sherlock. Do you think so? Okay. <coughs> Let's go over to the shithole country of Ethiopia where we see cat farming threatens food security, biodiversity, women, and agroforestry. Now, guys, before you think, what in the hell is Hambone talking about cat farming? This is K-H-A-T, which is this uh, recreational drug that I really need to... Uh, try myself, a, a recreational drug that basically just blunts your brain to the horrors going down. That is the cat farming they're talking about here. Let's see. Uh, we're going to start with the sentence, Ethiopia has long been a stronghold of an ecologically sound version of agriculture called agroforestry. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. But in recent decades, farmers have moved towards growing only one crop, cat. A drug banned in most countries, but still legal in Ethiopia. Yes. Uh, anyway, guys, moving on uh, from that shithole country, and, and uh, I've got a, I, I, I've got a lot to do, so I'm not, I'm going to skip through so many of the stories. I'm sorry, Manga Bay. There's only so much, so much doom and gloom in so little time. How about feed a fishery, starve a seabird? Industrial fisheries increased their share of fish taken by 10%, while seabirds take of fish dropped by nearly 20% between 1970 and 2010, new research has found. No shit, Sherlock. Scientists say that seabirds, 
which also face threats from pollution, plastic garbage, and entanglements from abandoned fishing, fishing gear, could also face starvation as a result of the competition with large-scale fisheries for the same resource. No shit, Sherlock. Okay. Uh, anyway, what is going on in Colombia? Shit, all country of Colombia. Colombia's deforestation rate has been accelerating since the country's peace accord in 2016, which formally ended a, a more than 50-year civil conflict. No shit, Sherlock. In any way, here is one, uh, I, I have to admit, the most jaw-dropping, <coughs> the most jaw-dropping headline of the week. I almost thought this was coming from The Onion as Brazilian environmental regulators. Brazilian environmental regulators. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Deny, deny French oil giant total license to drill near Amazon Reef uh, in, in a decision that floored environmentalists. Brazil's Environmental Regulatory Agency announced that it was denying a, uh, a permit from the French oil company to drill for oil near an Amazon Reef. Uh, Obama president Suli Arojo said there were quote deep uncertainties related to the plan of the enterprise aggravated by the possibility of eventual oil leakage affecting the biogenic reefs present in the region in marine biodiversity more broadly. No shit, Sherlock. So, of course, this decision was arrived at two weeks before Jair Bozonaro takes over the reins in Brazil. My prediction is this will be overturned and the permit will be granted to either the French oil company or more likely some Chinese oil company to drill on top of this endangered reef. Alright. Uh, more news from this fucking COP24. Uh, anyway, uh, you know, I'm going to come back to COP24 when I get over in part two with the Washington Post, most of their coverage. I'll do like this headline, Trumpers tout clean coal. Trumpers tout clean coal at COP24 climate talks. while protesters call it climate suicide. No shit, Sherlock. Anyway, moving along from COP24, let's go back to the shithole country of Indonesia. In eastern Indonesia, a bird trafficking hotspot flies under the radar. Radar, Indonesia, one of the most biodiversity biodiverse countries on Earth, is a major hub of the illegal bird trade. 
demand for wild birds comes from both inside and outside its borders. Huh. Aru, a remote island off of New Guinea, is a major supplier of cockatoos and other exotic birds. The relevant government agency is too understaffed to keep up with the bird traffickers. No shit, Sherlock. Okay, back to the shithole country of Brazil for the latest update on the Belo Monte Dam. This is uh, the seven-year update. <clears throat> Belo Monte Dam and Zingu River Management Plan continue to violate human rights. No shit, Sherlock. Construction on the Belo Monte Mega Dam on the Zingu River in the heart of the Brazilian Amazon began in 2011. Since then, the giant infrastructure project has met with a near constant flood of contentious protests from indigenous and traditional communities and from the international environmental community. No shit, Sherlock. Norte Energia, the energy consortium that built and operates the troubled project, has been fined or seen its operating license withdrawn for a variety of socio-environmental violations, including fish kills and the failure to provide compensation promise at the start of the project to local people. <coughs> Do you think so? Uh, Let's see, the, so now the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights is deciding whether to label the project an official violation of human rights. Yes, do you think so? Anyway, from the shithole country of Brazil to uh, just the shithole subcontinent of Southeast Asia, ground feeding birds in Southeast Asia may be going extinct outside of protected areas. No shit, Sherlock. Yes. Quails, partridges, and pheasants are becoming increasingly restricted to protected areas in Southeast Asia. Five species of the birds might no longer survive outside of protected areas. Huh. Many extinctions have occurred in Sumatra, where habitat loss appears the most pronounced. Meanwhile, researchers find that protected areas are becoming increasingly isolated and are not integrated into the wider landscape. No shit, Sherlock. I'm just going to read the I'm just going to read the headlines from Manga Bay's coverage of COP24 that dog and pony show which is completely falling apart into an absolute joke as I speak. U.S., Russia, and the Saudis downplay the, you know, this new IPCC We Are So Fucked report in display of Disunity. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, what's going on in the shithole country of Costa Rica? 
We, uh, how about this for a wet, weird headline? Pesticides could be painting black howler monkeys yellow in Costa Rica. Oh, God. I think there is another, yes, another in a related story from the shithole country of Costa Rica, which I've already mentioned in a previous rant, but I guess it uh, is worth repeating. Secondary forests in Costa Rica are re-cleared within decades. Secondary forests in Costa Rica, which are important for the country's reforestation and climate change goals, don't last long enough before being destroyed to recover previous lost biomass and biodiversity, a new study shows. No shit, Sherlock. Within 20 years, half of secondary forest in this one, in this one region of study was cleared and after 54 years, 85% of these young forests were gone. The results from a private, uh, from an NGO, contradict national reports of increasing forest coverage in Costa Rica. No shit, Sherlock. Yes. Uh, can we deal with another story on the brutality of pangolin poaching? I can't believe there's any pangolins left on the planet. Uh, anyway, guys, I, I, I'm running late to the uh, dead tree lot and I still have to do part two. Don't even know if I'll have time to get to a chronicle of the collapse. So we're just going to end back in the shithole country of Brazil with the no shit Sherlock story about tropical forest conservation in the Bozo Naro area. Just in case you are not aware of this, I will leave you with this message. Brazil's president-elect Bozo Naro represents a major threat to Brazil's Brazil's legacy of forest conservation. Caution detected. Take precautions. Brazil's legacy of forest conservation, not to mention the prospects of preventing extremely dangerous climate change. No shit, Sherlock. But anyway, guys, I'm going to uh, break off here for part one, and we're going to come back in part two with messages actually from four other environmental groups on the planet, starting with uh, this urgent plea and message from the World Wildlife Fund here in the Christmas season of 2018, but you're going to have to go over to part two to uh, find out what is on the mind of you know, one of the biggest mainstream environmental organizations on the planet, the World Wildlife Fund. I have three different emails from the World Wildlife Fund on this, on this press stopping subject. So come over there to part two and find out 
why the World Wildlife Fund is peeing its pants about the state of the planet at the end of 2018. Coming up in one minute for this rant, smoke them if you got them. We all know why. We are so fucked. Bye, guys.